I'm crying. Behind his glasses, there is a human being. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by DJ Snake. He's a bona fide hit maker. Check his Billboard stats. And you can pick up his studio debut album, Encore, which is everywhere and available now. DJ Snake, welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, man. How are you with hot food? My mom is like from North Africa, so you know, she's always cooking like crazy spicy. So we're gonna see how it goes. You ready to get it going? Let's go. All right, so the first one is sriracha. Sriracha is no big deal. That's cool. So I want to talk to you about the anatomy of a hit for a second. And don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to share your special sauce, but I do know that in addition to hard work, in addition to talent, in addition to that ear, there's always something that happens that takes a project from here to here. So what I want to do is bounce some big DJ Snake hits off of you, and you can kind of tell me that thing that kind of bounced your way. Turn down for what? Unexpected. Like it took like a year, you know, to really like um, take off. And uh, that was on my SoundCloud, like for free. Randomly, and then after that we sold like 10 million records. Let me love you. You know, I made the beat for Let Me Love You like six months after Lean On. Was not supposed to be uh, Justin on it. And then he heard like the the beat and the hook, and he was like, I want to do it. And like two days before like I was done, <clears throat> I was done with the album. I was like finishing all the records, and then he sent the vocal like two days before like the deadline. Wow, so it was like really was last like, minute like that. Yes, yeah, super super last minute. And I was like, yes. So I want to talk to you about football for a second because besides music, that seems to be the thing that sort of courses through your veins. I play everywhere, you know. I always have a ball, you know. It's uh, on my, um, on my, um, how you say this in English? Fuck. Um, your rider? Yes. You have a soccer ball on your rider. Yes, sir. And then a couple years ago, you hosted a soccer tournament in Miami with other DJs. Which DJs kind of impressed you with the way that they uh, they could play out there? Um, Kaigo is pretty dope. Yeah, Kaigo yeah, surprised me. I wasn't expecting this, and uh, it's pretty dope. He run, this motherfucker runs, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I'm not one to talk, but I do have one more athletic question for you. Can you explain that jump shot that you took, that basketball shot that you took? Oh, I'm so bad at basketball. Oh my god. You know, every time I'm, I'm trying to, like, to play basketball on Snapchat, like, all the American people are shitting on me. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk about the name DJ Snake for a second, because it's not every day that I meet an artist who kind Such of resents his stage name like a bad tattoo that he regrets. Oh yeah, oh my god. You don't like your name? Nah, I hate it. But if I have the origin story right, it does have a pretty amazing backstory. It comes from uh, your early days as a graffiti artist, Yeah, graffiti, right? you know, we were trying like, to, to be a graffiti artist but I was just trying to fuck shit up. In Paris, I was like 14. Me and my, 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 my young friends, we are just like trying to put our name everywhere. Yo, fuck this shit. <laughs> Kinda hot, huh? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And then I started like DJing, and I want, and I had to come up with with a name. I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna be DJ Snake. But then you know it is interesting with DJ names because I'm like, which ones are good? Like, is Skrillex a good name? Is Diplo a good name? Are any of these even good names? Yeah, Diplo is bad too. So as someone who's spent the last couple of years touring the planet, I'm sure that you have kind of a unique perspective when it comes to must-visit destinations. So what I want to do now is just hit you with kind of a rapid fire with some of my most pressing international travel questions. Uh -huh. Sound good? Yeah, talk to me. Does Dubai live up to the hype? Yes, I love Dubai. That's one of my favorite places in the world. I want to move to Dubai. Like Everybody in my, in my team is like, nah, chill. What's the biggest mistake that tourists make when they visit Paris? Uh, going to Champs-Élysées at night because you might get robbed. Where's the most underrated party city? Everybody talks about Vegas, everybody talks about Ibiza. Is there one that doesn't get enough credit? I like Brazil a lot. In the fabulous, nothing fancy, you know. This is just vibes, a few speakers, a lot of beautiful women, food, gunshots sometimes when the DJ drop a banger. And not the fake ones. No. Nah. <laughs> and uh, you know, you don't, you don't need, you know, nobody like bring like phones because they don't have phones or like when they do like they don't fucking like 
bring the phones every time, so they just dance, you know, all night long. That's real vibes, you know. That's mm -hmm. only, that's only, that's only. <coughs> Yo, that's fucked me up. <coughs> So this is the hot one sauce You're on the hot one show. Okay. But listen, if you don't like the sauce, tell me you don't like the sauce. If you like the sauce, tell me you like the sauce. No pressure. Can I have it? <laughs> I like it. It's cool. All right, the next part of the show is called Explain That Gram. And what we do is we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. <laughs> so I'll show you the picture and then you just tell me the bigger story. Uh -huh. Sound good? Yeah. All right. I'm good right now with all this stuff. You're chilling. Yeah. You're chilling. I don't want to talk too much, you know, because I might get fucked with this shit, but. You and Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was at the Grammy party somewhere in LA. You know, now I know her like a little bit better. And uh, yeah, super nice, super funny. We talk about like everything about Paris, and uh, she's cool. I like her. Shout out Taylor. Shout out to T Swift. Yeah. When DJ Snake and DJ Khaled are face to face, what sorts of things do you guys talk about? Uh, you know, we talk about a lot of things. You know, we were trying to understand like my world because he knew like all my records, but he didn't know like these festival things. You know, that's new to him. So he was trying to understand like the whole thing. We talked about Miami. We talked about like hummus. This is an interesting picture. You yes. and Conor McGregor. The beast, the champ. I love him. He's a uh, you know. One of my friends. He's crazy, he's uh, talented, he, work, he works hard. That was right after like when he lost against Diaz. We had this talk, we were like, no, Yo, you're a fucking lion, bro. You lost today, but you're a lion, you're gonna come back, and you gotta shut that shit down. Yeah, that one is disrespect disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Uh, should I drink like water or milk? So um, here's the deal. Yeah. Once you're in the Terror Dome, nothing's really going to save you. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> DJ Snake? So you can have some water. It'll chill you out a little bit. People get very mad about water. People are like, eh, there's no capsation in it. Like, it's not going to die. But it is an ice cold drink to kind of cool you down temporarily. Uh -huh. and the milk, the dairy kind of cuts the heat. Let me so, try, let me try, let me try. Yeah, let's see if it works for you. I don't like milk in general, but... But it's kind of, you know. It might have me. Any, any port in a storm. So every genre seems to have its own rules of engagement when it comes to infighting. You know, in hip hop, you'll have a diss track, for example. Yeah. But in EDM, it's a little bit nerdier. There's kind of like these Twitter wars. There's the wave file jokes. There's all those sorts of things. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of want to talk about the anatomy of these sort of conflicts when it comes to DJs. I like when, when Den Mouse like goes wild on Twitter, like it's always fun to watch, you know. Oh, well, Diplo is good. <laughs> Diplo is good too. We oh, we always like making fun of each other, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like Kevin Harris on the low is like super, super, super funny. Kind of a savage on the low. He is a savage. Calvin is a fucking savage. It's crazy. But yeah, you know, I'm I'm pretty cool with everybody. But you do do some pranks on Dylan Francis every once in a while. Yeah, put like his number on the on the screen on the big screen on stage at Ultra. He wanted to kill me. He was really upset. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he put his phone number out there. Yeah, because, you know, he really liked this number, you know, that was like a pretty easy like to remember. Because the other source of conflict seems to be when people are biting. You know, DJs get really upset oh, yeah, yeah. about I did biting. that too. I did, I did that too. I put, um, I put Get on, on, on Blast, you know, but, you know, I felt bad. Afterwards, I was like, dude, fuck this, man, you know, like, I don't want to do that any, anymore. Like, fuck it. Like, if you copy me, you copy me. It is what it is, you know, there is leaders. There is Followers. Try a little piece. I can tell. Immediately. Listen, I'm not too proud to admit it. These last three or four sauces are outrageous. I don't know how I dug this grave for myself, but I did just week after week, eating these wings, eating these sauces. All right, so my favorite thing that you share are these sort of cryptic proclamations on social media. They're very Drake-like, and I mean that as a compliment. But what I want to do now is kind of give you some of these DJ Snake pronouncements, and you can kind of tell me where your head was at and kind of explain the bigger picture. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah. Ego is the root of all <coughs> conflict. <coughs> this is true, man. For real, this is true. Especially in the music industry. Like, I could make like so many records, so much more records with some of my friends. 
but just because of egos, like we don't really fuck with each other anymore. This is probably my favorite one. The realest people don't have a lot of friends. It's true, man. Too many snakes. Yeah. Shout out all the chicks with big foreheads. We love you. <laughs> nah, somebody hacked my Twitter. The bomb. No, nah, no. Nah. It's that part of the. It's that part of the show. Yeah, I remember like Nor Noriega. Mm-hmm. Almost died. Tough one. Tough one. Tough one. It's terrible. Why am I here? So DJs on the festival circuit, they always bring out guests, but you oh, seem yeah. to take great pride. Taking a lap, DJ Snake. Jacket is coming off. Cooling it down, cooling it down. What's that, bro? It's crazy, it's crazy, it's hot ones. You can't blame us for false advertising. <laughs> oh my God. Tough. Flames. We don't want to kill you, DJ Snake. Ooh. Is it getting worse? Yeah. Just walk it out. Just walk it out. It's good to take a lap. Wow. <sighs> Disrespectful. Wow. How can you do it? Nah, you you you're a liar, bro. Yeah. You can we can we can switch paddles if you want, DJ Snake. I'm I'm not gonna sit here and take that. I'm not gonna sit here and take that kind of character assassination. Have you ever like switched with somebody? Yeah, DJ Khaled has to switch. Bobby Lee switched. Maybe DJ Snake wants to switch. Yeah, let's switch. Okay. You're a liar. <laughs> it looks freakish. It looks superhero like, but it's just a day in the life. It's just a day in the life. I'm crying. Behind his glasses, there is a human being. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Snake, coming undone on hot ones. Okay. Okay. I'm a champ. You are a champ. Look at you. And your back. And your back. All right. So DJs on the festival circuit, they like to bring out guests, but Yo, you seem to. I can't even see you. It's all right. You just have to hear me, DJ Snake. Find me through the hot sauce over here. You seem to be especially proud of the fact that you bring out these sort of uh, people that no one are expecting. You know, you like to bring out guests that surprise the crowd. Yeah. Most notably, the one that sticks out to me is the DMX performance from Coachella a couple of years ago. Can you tell me how that came about and what you remember about that day? Yeah, I'm fucked. Hold <laughs> on. I'm sorry. DJ Snake, don't apologize. We could just interview you. We could just have a nice chat, but no, like we have to bring in spicy hot chicken wings. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> so yeah, DMX. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Let's talk about DMX. Let's talk about DMX. So yeah, I'm a big DMX fan, you know, and uh, Rough Riders in general. I had a Rush Rummer on the same show, mm -hmm. already booked. So I was like, okay, we got a new wave, and then I gotta bring like the, a legend, you know, an OG. And we had this, you know, and that was a crazy night. That shit is wild. <laughs> he, he told me like, Snake, drop that shit. And I drop it. That was like a, a dream for me, you know. I'm a fan of hip hop, you know, I grew up with hip hop. And being on stage with DMX, such a legend, that was like a, one of the biggest moments in my career. All right, DJ Snake, it's an interesting time. We are to the Mad Dog 357 zone. <sighs> Having some trouble. Whoa. Did not expect that. Let's go. All right. Maybe just take a bite. Whoa. Center yourself. If you get through the bomb, I feel like you can here. You're good. You're good. I'm already gone. All right, so for my money, there's no job with better perks than an internationally famous DJ. So if you don't mind, I do have a couple questions about hotel suites and private jets. Yeah, tell me. Fuck this shit. 
By the way, whoever created this, man, fuck you. Mad Dog, 357. Don't ever come to Paris. Wow, you're not welcome. So you have a residency in Vegas, and I know that on that night, it's a work night for you, but let's say you're a childhood friend or maybe like a new buddy or something. What does that Saturday night look like for the people who are kind of just along for the ride? So first of all, like, I always bring my friends from Paris, one by one. Like anybody that's in, that was in prison, in jail, for like two, three years, the first thing he, do, he, he does when he get out, DJ go Snake. DJ Snake, yo, I wanna go to Vegas. <laughs> cool, I got you. And then we bring them, and you know, so every time I go to Vegas, I got my friends from like France. They're like, oh shit, what is that, what is this? Oh my God, have you seen this? Yo, it's always like this. So that makes, that makes me like, realize how lucky I am, you know? That one, I don't know about that one. I have a show tonight, so. All right, DJ Snake. It is tradition around here to dab the last wing with a little extra Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage. You don't have to oh my if God, you don't you... want to. I know you have a show tonight. You don't have to if you don't want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh-oh, uh-oh, be careful. Be careful. Let me see, let me see, let me see. That's smart. More of our guests should do that. Yeah. What let me let me breathe. Fair. To complex. Hey. Odd to one. DJ Snake. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, what the fuck? It's just. Yeah, you'll never be the same. All right. <laughs> Terrible. There, oh man, oh man, what a comeback story. All right, DJ Snake, you're an earnest guy. You came from nothing. You grind and you try to inspire people who come from the same humble beginnings. So now, while the death sauce is creeping in on you, it's finding that spot in your soul, I have to know the DJ Snake guide to success and prosperity. What advice do you have for the dreamers out there? Stay true to yourself. Keep believing like in your vision. Don't listen to nobody. Don't copy nobody. And don't eat, don't eat those fucking wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best advice we've ever had on our Wing 10 finale. DJ Snake, you made it through. It wasn't easy, but you probably Man. feel better for it. Maybe, I, maybe I need, not. I need that one. Hey, I got you, I got you. Can I? Don't, yeah, don't worry. We this got you amazing. that. Take it, take the table. We got you an extra. But you know how it goes. This camera, this camera, or this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. A lot. I can't even talk right now. Twitter at DJ Snake. Fuck. <laughs> From here to here. It's all right, right? I thought I was like, yo, that's some bullshit. <laughs> I'm straight. Too late. Too late. Whew. But then, yeah, we smoke you out there at the end. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? If you liked the video, maybe meet us halfway. Throw us a subscribe. If you didn't like the video, don't subscribe. I don't want you. I don't want you in the tent. But if you liked the video, subscribe. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I love you. More than a friend.